الرحمن الرحيم Alishan Mal here. Well, in many of my videos, you feel like I'm sitting in a factory area because there is a 3D printer always busy printing something in the background. Well, guess what? I have got one of the best DIY printers that you can ever put your hands on. That is the Creality 3D CR10. S. That means the improved version of Creality 3D CR10. Before I had a GTAG, then I jumped straight to Creality 3D CR10 and I became a fan of Creality 3D CR10 series printer. After that, we moved back home and I bought myself a Jago or Garora A3S printer, which was a really well built, all in one beautiful desktop 3d printer it was good but i didn't quite like the printing size on it because it was a small i wanted to print something bigger and that was a limit for me on that printer plus that printer i mean it was good but it wasn't a workhorse like a creality 3d cr10 i mean i have left the creality 3d cr10 printer working for two days or more straight and it never gave me any issue for Garora A3S, after about uh, 12 to 16 hours, the printing wasn't that impressive or the results weren't that good. So I went ahead and got myself the all new Creality 3D CR10S so I can leave it on doing things, 3D printing all I want and the bigger sizes parts as well, the things that I want to print in big sizes. So let me give you a look at the printer and we'll talk about its features very very quickly and of course after that I will show you what I have been printing with the Creality 3D CR10. Alright then, printer assembly is ready. It's looking beautiful and it is big. <laughs> Alright, now before powering it up, please do remember that there is a switch right here and this has to be set according to your uh, you know volts level in your country some countries have 110 volt in China here we have 220 volt so make sure it is set to the right voltage before you power it on otherwise you will have a blast and a smoke magic smoke anyway this is the control center and at the right side my favorite thing the SD or TF card slot so I actually slice all my models using simplify 3d and just use the card to print you can also use USB with a direct connection to your computer anyway so let the camera adjust and this is my old favorite uh, screen old school thing and it gives you all the information now it says Creality 3d CR 10s so what is different in CR10 and CR10S well only two things now you have auto bed leveling feature that helps you to level your bed properly um, without having to have a slicer program or using a computer and the second thing that you will see here 
is the filament detector right here right here this is your filament detector so filament goes through it and then into the extruder so if the filament is broken it will detect and probably stop the printing the rest everything is the same old Creality 3D CR10 my favorite personal favorite I, I suggest you um, you know heat up the bed so that the screws will heat up as well and that's a different story when screws heat up you know uh, when things heat up they expand so I'm heating up the bed to 60 degree almost there I don't know why it's stuck at 59 anyway now that it's uh, done here now that the temperature is done it's time to auto level the bed and for that you will go to uh, prepare and you will see auto home which you should do first to check if all the access are working properly so that's what we're doing now all right it seems that all my XYZ's are working properly man this is fast I mean the z-axis <laughs> now we have double motors for z-axis right here there are double motors for z-axis both are working at full speed and my z-axis limiter switch should be fine I believe awesome all right now in order to level the bed you will need an A4 size paper which I have found a piece of paper right here okay so I'm gonna use this one to level the bed and the next step we're gonna do is choose bed auto level and we'll go for next step and you can see the extruder gets up test the limiter and goes down there again okay now I have to play at five points with this piece of paper sitting right here to adjust the bed leveling. All right, we are printing our first model, and uh, that is one nut and bolt, I believe. I wanted to see the accuracy of the printer with the, all the threads printed, so if it can print the th threads nicely, and nuts and bolts can work together, that will be nice. And that will prove that the printer is really nice and precise, accurate. The printing of my first test model is done. And the details look absolutely fine on this one. Awesome. I am printing. Uh, DIY furniture parts so far I am simply loving the CR10 and I'm really really happy I went back for it now what is different in CR10 is simple you have got a filament detector right here so this time you have a filament detection if filament breaks the printing will stop and you can change the filament and resume the printing saving yourself from trouble what if you printed a big model for so long and then filament breaks or you need to change so you have uh, printing resume functions now you can resume your printing and also it offers you the auto bed leveling feature and once again I would like to highly highly recommend if you want to start with 3d printing and you want something that can print bigger parts you are looking at it don't think just go for Creality 3D CR10 series printer. They are super easy to put together, very easy to set up, and they are a workhorse. Not to mention, their printing is superb. They print really, really well.
very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.